Hello, class. Um, first of all, I want to thank everyone for uh, really over this Labor Day week and getting their homework done. That was that was really cool. Um, I was really surprised at the comments on the discussion for uh, social media. Probably the best class for at least English 101 I've ever had. Uh, we usually do this as an in-class discussion, and you did just remarkable. Uh, really, really did well. Uh, some of the suggestions were really ones that Instagram and Snapchat, they ought to really use. The purpose of these, and like your, um, your other assignment, um, is to get you to address a problem, think, synthesize, and then write to prepare you for uh, really what we're going to be doing the next three weeks, which is a review essay. Um, you did really well in the water allocation. We usually do this as a uh, in-class discussion, in-class project, but what you did was, uh, was, was really well. Um, it's hard to come up with a short essay when you're just given a minimal amount of information, but the whole point of this is to force you to think, to think creatively, come up with ideas. So with that, take tomorrow off. I posted an announcement to take Labor Day off, enjoy your Labor Day. We're going to begin the review essay. So this next week, I want to have you do one thing that's really important, which is to try to come up with a topic for your review essay. Your review essay, um, you can use APA. But if you're more familiar with MLA and comfortable with MLA, you could use that. I want you to have three sources from the library. And I want you to, uh, you know, to use those as, as sources for your paper. Your paper will have uh, five paragraphs. An introduction in which you introduce your topic, make any definitions you may need to make, uh, and come up with three criteria that you're going to, use as topics for your three body paragraphs. Each of your body paragraphs will address a criteria. And of course, your conclusion will ideally give your reader something to take away from your review so they really feel that they, they've learned something. Um, the purpose of a review is an evaluation. We're all familiar with reviews, especially in the days now of social media. Um, Let's look at criteria. There are two concepts of criteria I want you to learn. Criteria is relevant and sufficient. Relevant means it has something to do with what you're talking about. For instance, if you're gonna write a review of a restaurant, obviously food is the relevant criteria. The other one is sufficient. What are you gonna write about food? You can't just say, well, this restaurant has swell food that's not sufficient. Um, what you want to do is, is go into enough detail to give your reader something useful and substantive to take away. For instance, is it a Mexican restaurant? Is it what you would think would be good Mexican cuisine? You go to a French, Greek, Italian restaurant. Is this what you think Greek food should be? Is this what you think uh, Bulgarian food is? You know, something substantive about the food. For instance, the preparation, the portions. When you go to Philly Berto's, does the food you get look like the, you know, the thing they have up showing all the dishes? Another aspect or criteria of a restaurant would be ambiance or, you know, the feel, the decor. There's a Mexican restaurant called Garcia's. I love Garcia's because it has a lot of really cool kind of atmosphere about it. You know, it's not real bright, but it's got a lot of, of cool uh, things. And so it, it has a quality to it that I really like. Um, Going to talk about some of the uh, uh, aspects of, your, of your, uh, your paper. And I have a PowerPoint that, that goes through these. You want to keep your, your reader engaged. No one wants to read a review that they don't really care about. So state your criteria and your paragraphs. You're going to introduce evidence where we're going to hopefully, well, I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. I gave an elaborate set of instructions and ideas to the library. We're going to have library instruction for critical research to help us find sources for our, for our essay. Um, but what is a review? Um, a review is a set of standards that can be used to form a judgment. That's really it. Um, some of the topics you may consider are movies. 
all movies have a plot, characters, and most movies have a soundtrack. Um, when you when you look at a movie, um, let's say you're looking at a historical movie, a Jane Austen movie based on a, on, on a persuasion or something. Does the actress really portray what you think some of Jane Austen's characters would be like? Are the Hunger Games, the trilogy, I love the Hunger Games, hint, hint. The Hunger Games, does it really give you a realistic picture of a future messed up dystopian society? One student wrote an excellent paper that pointed to the fact that dress or costume is a huge uh, criteria to communicate to the audience in the Hunger Games. So you wanna go as, as deep as you can with, uh, with this. Um, I gave you uh, one example of essay online example on the 2016 film Passengers. To be honest, a student actually came up with this. These are criteria that a student came up with for a uh, review of the movie Passengers. Um, I also, on slide 10 of the PowerPoint, I gave an example that a student did. This student got an A. Now, this wasn't at Chandler Gilbert. It was at uh, Grand Canyon. But it was on Beyonce's album called Lemonade. Now, how can you write a review of an album and be, you know, in depth? Well, she thought about it. She talked to me a little bit about it. But the Beyonce's album Lemonade, she figures, comes up with many genres of music, such as blues, hip hop, and soul. It has a mood that gives a deep personal reflection to her audience. And unlike other albums, maybe, Beyonce stretched herself a little bit and gave a strong political statement of denial, anger, and empathy in her song. So the three criteria for the album Lemonade by Beyonce are the genres of the music, the moods, and a strong political statement. So that's kind of an idea of how I want you to look at coming up with criteria for your, uh, for your, for your paper. On the last slide of the slide I put in is your discussion question for the week. For your review topic, and try to have this done, let's say by Sunday maybe, give yourself a week, is develop a topic, tentative topic. Maybe you'll come up with a couple of topics and come up with the three criteria that you would use for your, uh, for your paper. Video games. What do video games all have? They have graphics, they have a storyline, they have like technical playability. Is it a Nintendo game? Is it multiplayer game? Is it streaming? Does it have sufficient levels, sufficient things to keep your interest? Those are some of the criteria you could evaluate in a review of a video game. But anyway, I wanted to give you a heads up on that. Uh, all I want you to do this week, and it's important, is to read the slides, learn about a review, and read some reviews of kind of things you might be interested in. Read a review of a book, a movie, a video game, a play, an opera, a piece of art. Anything that you're going to communicate of how you would want to tell someone about it now. Does a review have to be positive? Not really. You could have a review, many reviews of books and pieces of art and movies. You know, the reviews aren't very positive. They're, they're kind of negative. Uh, don't get in the trap if you decide to review technology of uh, looking at things that are too much technical aspects and not really something you can review. For instance, you talk about a phone, the Samsung something versus, you know, the Samsung Note 9 versus the iPhone 11. They're both phones, they have similar criteria, but you don't want to get into a compare and contrast. You don't want to talk about the battery life curve of Samsung versus Apple. Then you're really evaluating qualities, technical qualities, you're not really giving a review. So you need to review. Now, just to cap up, we're gonna spend three weeks. Probably next week, I'm gonna ask you to submit a rough draft. I'm waiting to hear from the library. They'll probably be doing some great things with you. You're going to be uh, hitting it pretty good on a, a, um, a week four. And then in week five on September 27th, your review will be, will be uh, submitted. But I've been leading you up to this, which is doing a critical evaluation, uh, writing in a, in a more academic college level type of way. And that's how you'll be, uh, you'll be judged on your essay. So have a good Labor Day and uh, come back and uh, 
look at hitting again on Tuesday. <clears throat> and again, you've been really, really great on getting your work done. I'm really, really happy. This has been a, a great English 101 class. Okay, thank you.